President Trump and Prime Minister Modi share a bond and political pundits are of the view that the equation between the two global leaders may not deliver the Indian American votes to the President. What's your sense? Will the Modi factor play any role to woo the Indian American voters in the swing states, especially Sabrina? You know, I, I, I would say this. I would say I think what's going to sway and woo voters, Indian American voters all across the country is our plans. We have a plan to actually recover and get through this pandemic. Um, that is going to be the first step when it comes to building back our country and building back better. Um, we have a plan to actually invest and bring jobs back here to the U.S. and actually grow our economy. And we have a plan when it comes to whether it's seeking higher education, reducing student loans, addressing our climate by actually believing in science, which I can't believe I have to say because this president doesn't trust the experts and the scientists, we have a plan to do that. And I think that's what's going to reg um, resonate within the Indian American community more than more than anything else. Experts who have been very critical of this administration also are of the opinion that under President Trump, Indo-US relations do seem to have moved forward geopolitically as well. The US has tilted towards uh, India in the region. Will this momentum continue under the Joe Biden administration? And also, the current administration has also been very crystal clear in calling out terrorism that has been exported from India's neighboring countries. Will we hear similar statements from Joe Biden as well, Sabrina? I think for one, a Biden-Harris administration will be a friend and an ally to India. We know India is a huge um, ally to us. And I think working together both economically, but also just you know, I mean, advancing our relationship between two countries is something that Joe Biden is going to focus on. 